We are Kristen and Michael. If you're new to our channel, we bought our house in July of 2021 and renovated it ourselves with what we had. And we have been a short-term rental since November of 2021. We have a five-star rating and we are documenting the journey now of updating our house as well as what it's like hosting on Airbnb. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to continue following our journey. Great rising. It is 7.40 a.m. I got my fit on. It is time to go harvest some prickly pear. Last year, I waited until October. I think that was a little late. They are definitely ready right now, so let's go get them before all the birds do because I saw a bird eating one yesterday, and I was like, excuse me, ma'am, sir. It's not okay with me. I said I'm gonna leave these for some bunnies maybe I'll stick them around in different places because I'm not gonna use them so I'll put them where I know bunnies are so I'm gonna put a couple over there too so I don't know if they can get to these come through this fence because these rattle so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them on this side so that it can come and get them see if they eat them Teak oil, sponges, and a bucket to put the teak oil in. That's all you need. Colors deepening. Not too much though. They're definitely gonna be lighter than they were, but I kind of like it. And then I just did this one with it on the ground and it definitely hurt my back. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that again. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes and now I'm just going to dry off the excess. I'm supposed to just go over it with a nice rag of sorts and kind of soak up the excess that's just kind of sitting on the chair, I guess. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the cowboy tub. This has been performing beautifully. Um, no issues, there's no mess. All of the, the walk path is all clean now because people aren't dragging as much dirt into it, um, but this cowboy tub does still collect sand over time. So one of the ways that I've just been cleaning it, and because if, if you're new, um, after every guest, they pull the plug and it drains out to the plants. So I've just been doing this and sweeping all of the, the sand 
into like a pile and then vacuuming it up and it's actually been working really well that like I do this every every two weeks or so and that's what I'm doing now is working. Finn's working the sun. Michael's doing the cowboy pool and I'm finishing the last lounger. So we've got three done so far and wiped down after its first coat. I think we're just going to keep one coat because they're going to just get bleached out in the sun anyway. So we kind of like them lighter. I like the look. I, I like how the cherry has stayed up. You mean the, the picnic bench? Camera. Yeah. Yeah? I'm wondering if maybe I will stain them cherry. Okay. Is that the match. color we did? Yeah, that's the color we did. Okay. On that one. It matches our wood fence. Yeah. That's why we did it. Yeah. I Honestly, I like Old American better, but maybe we'll, we'll do that eventually. Yeah. Anyway, we like the teak um, oil because, like I said, it gets bleached out in the sun really easily, obviously. And then this way we can just reapply the teak oil when it starts to get lighter. We are going to Harbor Freight and Tools, but I wanted to give you guys an update real quick on our garden situation out front. Looking great. Bunnies haven't touched it since we put the repellent on it and it's not a insecticide or whatever rodent aside situation. It's just like it irritates the nostrils. They don't want to come back. So it's looking great. Regrowth. Woo! Okay, we are oops. We got Harbor Freight and Tool today because we have found that it's the best place to get like things yeah, like like so things. right now we're getting a blower for the house because there's leaves up against the fence and blower is the easiest way to do it so for like 50 bucks you can get a blower that just works enough you know nothing fancy there it is all right so we are currently in the parking lot of Groshiella in yucca valley and we just noticed that they are putting in a brand new tesla supercharger station here and it's not open yet but if there's anybody out there that wants a great business idea, I would, because there's going to be thousands of people coming to Joshua Tree from LA, right by this Tesla charging station is an outlet mall. Rent This place is for lease right here. So is that one too. And so is that one. I would, there's how many spaces here? Lots. Like over 10. I would open up a really hip coffee shop right here. So while everybody is waiting 30 minutes or an hour to supercharge their Teslas, they can come and hang out in your very cool, trendy coffee shop right here and have coffee while they wait. So <laughs> business idea. If you're looking in Joshua Tree to start a coffee shop, start it right here. We just blew up the air mattress. Finn does not like it. I know. We blew up the air mattress because a guest said that it deflated on them in the middle of the night. We think it was operator error, but Michael is testing it out for the next 30 minutes to make sure that no. that is not, you, not the case. I am currently magic erasing. Just, you know, people have spilled. Michael just spilled this when he was opening our meat. And I'm just going to clean off some coffee spills. With a magic eraser, I do this about once a month um, or every time I'm here, depending on how much has been spotted up. You know what I mean? Like this. Easy, gone. Easy, gone, you know? And then I usually have a paper towel to dry, but I'm filming, so. I also do the trash can because People throw stuff in it, there's like little streaks, so about once a month or every time I'm here, depending on how many spots and stains there are, I will magic erase both the cabinets and the trash can area because like there's splatters back here and they're really light, but I can see them. You know what I mean? Alright, so we got this guy from... Harbor Freight and Tool, like you saw. 
it's got a suction feature as well, but um, along the fence at our property, the winds over here are pretty crazy. And so like random leaves and stuff from the creosote bushes get stuck. So I figured this is probably just gonna be the easiest way. I'm gonna try blowing it first. If it doesn't work that well, then I'm going to move to the mulcher feature. So let's see how it works. is a little bag is so funny. I know. Here, come over here. Let's go to get this corner. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's how you're supposed to wear it. There's a strap for it. I know. I love it. <laughs> it's this man. If you guys didn't know Michael before, this is so funny that you are so amazing. I love you. That's so cool. I got it for the blower, but this is fun. <laughs> we don't have um, yard trash cans out here in the desert, just so you know, guys. Just throw it in our pile. It mulches it all up. That's so cool. Looks like it turns the leaves into... This was not us. This was not us. We want to get this all cleared out. Yeah. Another day. Yes. The dollar. That's a bit. That's been there for many years. I was there. there that's been there longer than the lady that owned it before us because she found it when she moved here. Like, look at this guy. The guy. Right there. It's just sitting there. And then there's like these other little tree stumps in the area. That was a big one, but I'm just, it's time. They gotta go, and it's nice out, so see you later, stumps. We'll do some of the bark tonight and the small tree stump. Put a couple over there that I'm okay with people burning, but the big ones we've hidden. So yeah, let's have a bonfire.
Tornado just came. Like a dirt devil. I don't know what those are called. Just blew through here. And I caught the camera. <laughs> well, I caught the camera as it was falling. That was crazy. Okay, let me go get the other chair. <laughs> Early this morning, it is like a cold, like a chilly fall morning. It's so beautiful out. I just love this time of year. I know I keep saying it to Michael, like, oh, so nice being here this time of year. Beautiful. But starting to strip the beds, getting things in the laundry, and cleaning up and shipping out. I wish we had one more night. I always wish we had one more night when we're staying, but it's time to get back to the house. We've got some painting to do on our house. <sighs> Lots more projects there too. All right, we got Kristen sweeping up the kitchen. Just got to sweep, mop. Kitchen is all cleaned up. We have a guest coming tonight, right? Yes, we have a guest coming tonight, and then we just got booked when I was in the garage for Saturday night too, so. Yeah, it's third, it's Friday right now. Yeah. So we have guests checking, yeah, so We gotta get good. moving. So yeah, we got a deep clean in and we should be good for the next couple of weeks while the cleaners take care of things. Yes. Um, we have a big project planned coming up. Uh, we need to order some supplies and... We already have the measurements. What are we gonna do, 12? 10 by 10. 10 by 10 or 12? Oh, 12 by 12. 12 by 12. All right, so uh, you'll, see, you'll see what that's gonna be. And um, so yeah, we're just cleaning up and then we're gonna head out of here. And uh, yeah. That's it. We are good to go. Hope our guests have a great weekend here. And uh, we are off. Let's go eat. Let's We're go hungry. Eat. Let's go eat. Right, Finn? You need to lay down, dude.